Hello, everyone. Welcome to the chapel, the historic chapel of the Sir Christopher Wren building. As I think uh, I've met almost all of you, I'm Taylor Reevely, the president of William and Mary. And it is my very happy opportunity to welcome you all here today. Now this is a very happy, a very momentous occasion. We've gathered to celebrate the presidential precinct's glorious cohort of Mandela Washington Fellows, class of 2017. And you are an extraordinarily select group of young African leaders. I am told there were 64,000 applicants from 120 countries who sought a place in this year's class of Mandela Washington Fellows. And of those 64,000 applicants, only 1,000 were chosen. Assuming my math is accurate, always an open question. Less than 2% of the applicant pool was chosen. Less than 2%. So you all are part of an amazingly select, amazingly distinguished, amazingly promising group. And young African leaders, it's really grand to have you at William and Mary. I enjoyed meeting you last week and I'm absolutely delighted to have a chance to be with you again today. Now, countless William and Mary people have sat in the chapel pews where you are now sitting. And many of them went on to play crucial roles in establishing and then sustaining democracy in the United States, including three William and Mary students who ultimately became presidents of the United States, the homes of two of them, Thomas Jefferson and James Monroe, form in part of, part of parts of the presidential precinct, and you spent some time at them this summer. For centuries, literally, William and Mary has been a place where leaders are educated, inspired, forged, and you are well on your way to becoming leaders in your own countries and for your continent. With strong ties, I believe and I hope, to the friends and colleagues from many African countries, not your own, whom you've come to know this summer through the YALI program. I really do believe there is a time and a tide in the lives of nations and of continents. And I really do believe that your vast continent, Africa, is beginning these days to realize the enormous potential it has and to take its rightful place in the world. Now, this is going to be an extremely complex and demanding undertaking because the continent of Africa is itself so huge. So many countries, so many ethnicities. Uh, it's going to take leaders of great ability, courage, motivation to realize Africa's potential and the potential of each country in it. And these will have to be leaders who are interested not simply in amassing power, in amassing wealth, in feathering the nests of their families, but who are genuinely interested in promoting the larger good. And I think these leaders will work not only in their own countries, but across the continent. And those of you sitting in the chapel this afternoon, I believe, are going to be among those leaders. And those of us at William and Mary and at the University of Virginia and Mormon and the presidential homes of, of uh, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, are very proud of each of you and very honored to have had you in our midst this summer. Now, according to the program, I am next supposed to introduce our speaker.